<laughs> wow. I'm so excited to try this. Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome to another Cook With Me. It's been a while, but you guys, today we're making something so amazing, so delicious, and something I actually really, really love, but like never make. And key words, so easy. So easy. I'm so excited for this, you guys. We are making pressure cooker scalloped potatoes. What? <laughs> what? You guys, I love potatoes. I love them mashed, I love them baked, I love them all the ways, and I especially love scalloped potatoes. I have not made them forever, and then I saw this recipe. So is this gonna be better than the Idaho Spuds? These are Idaho Spuds. Like, you know, like the box Idaho Spuds? Idaho Spuds are, those are different. Those are oh, mashed potatoes. Oh, okay. These are scalloped potatoes. Oh, that's what I thought, the little sliced ones. Like the little round slices. Yeah, those are scalloped. Yeah, yeah. so, okay, I thought those were also called Idaho Spuds. Oh, I guess Idaho does, I guess they do have them in the box. Too, oh, okay. Of okay. scalloped, but they also have a mash. They all have, they have them all in the I gotcha, ways. But I gotcha. Yes, I think this will be better because it's homemade and, and it's gonna be delicious and it's in a pressure cooker. And it's not just any pressure cooker. Not just any pressure cooker, you guys. It is it. We were sent this Carl Schmidt sewn pressure cooker. You guys, but it's not just a pressure cooker. What? It's also an air fryer. So you can swap out these lids and make it into an air fryer. What? Which is awesome. And that's not it. Oh. <laughs> you can also use the crisper. Oh. Which is amazing. You wow. guys know Danny likes his crunch. He likes his crispiness. So we got that as well. Tonight though, for this recipe, we're gonna be using the pressure cooker and the air fryer for this same recipe, which is awesome. And the amazing thing about both of these is the crisper comes separate, yes. and we get, we're gonna have that information in the description down below, um, but it does come, the crisper comes with its own recipe book. Yes. And same with the pressure cooker air fryer combo, the Carl Schmidt sewn recipe book, you guys, a list of recipes, which is a what book. we're following yes. right now. Yeah, I literally was looking through, I'm like, oh, I wonder what I can make in here, you guys. And I saw scalloped potatoes, I'm like, doing it, doing that. So, scalloped potatoes, but you guys, examples, air fryer banana bread. What? Totally wanna try that. And I think they had, um, what was it, the um, uh, tikka masala. Oh. Tikka masala. They have a recipe in here that looks amazing and delicious. We're excited to try it. We're <laughs> I'm trying to pretend I'm like a director back here. Wow. Because like I'm pretending I'm like a director. I'm trying no, to like mimic her like enthusiasm like... <laughs> and just kind of like. Danny goes like this. Oh. Well, because I was just kind of emphasizing like you like Danny's so upset. So I was just doing my job. Wow. You, guys. you need to be in front of the camera with that. Action. No. That was awesome. Oh, whoa, whoa! Don't move the camera there, boy. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna get started on this recipe. I'm super excited to make it, super excited to show you guys how this works, how easy this is gonna be. It actually, the cook time in total, you guys, and we have raw potatoes here. What? Guess how long the cook time is total? 20 minutes. Eight minutes. Are you serious? Eight minutes, you guys. <laughs> this is not total. real. Total, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> so. Let's get started. Okay, so for this recipe, you guys, all you're gonna need is basically six potatoes. If you wanna double the recipe, go for it. We're doing six tonight. That's what the recipe calls for. So six potatoes. Then, and, and I might add peeled potatoes. Danny peeled them for me. Thank you very much. so awesome. Credit to Danny, guys. I did have to go over and peel them again, though. I'm not gonna lie. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh my Everyone crap. saw them and she was like, Dad missed a lot of spots. You can. <laughs> Haven't you ever had French fries hey, with thankful. the brown spots? I'm thankful for it, so I appreciate it. I'm not even gonna say anything else. Okay, so potatoes. You're gonna need some um, cheddar cheese, just the regular cheddar cheese. This just. Um, it's about one and a half ounces, you guys. It is a one and a half ounces. You're gonna need of the cheddar cheese. You're gonna need six ounces of the sharp white cheddar cheese. And then you are gonna need a cup and a half of water. You're gonna need four and a half tablespoons of heavy cream, which yum, this is gonna be so good. You're gonna need some garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And that's wow. it. That's not that much, you guys. That's actually really good. So let's get going. Boom, so cutting up these uh, 
Cutting the potatoes. Extra peeled potatoes. Extra peeled. I am grateful you peeled them for me though. It's like kind of my least favorite thing to do. Well, you had to go pick up Ashlyn because Ashlyn got bit, uh, stung by a bee or something at we practice today. We don't know today. what. She got bit or stung or something, you guys. So I had to rush over and go grab her because she was like, Mom, I got bit. She got bit on her um, shoulder blade and she was feeling it in her arm. And so I was like, oh crap. So, so she had to go pick her up and I got a text saying, Peel six potatoes. I'm like, Can you please peel. Okay. I don't think I said please either. <laughs> no, it was peel six potatoes. No, it wasn't. Yeah. I'm gonna check the text. Okay, here we go. Did I really? Yeah. That was rude. I must have been in a hurry. Let's see. Can you pick up? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that that was the other list. I said, can you peek six potatoes, and then I put peel. Oh. So I did ask. Okay. <laughs> I didn't demand at least. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna just cut these, you guys. I say about like one fourth of an inch. I'm just kind of guesstimating what that looks like. Wow, those look good. Those look Gucci gang. I love any potatoes. You guys, comment down below what your favorite style of potato is. Is it baked? Is it mashed? Is it, what else is there? Scallops. Ooh. What would you say is yours, babe? French fries. Oh. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. That is a good point. My friend and I, he had a deep fryer growing up in in junior high, uh -huh. Daryl, and he literally was like the French fry guy. Like we would go to his house French and fry. literally we would cut up like six potatoes. That's awesome. Slice them up, put them in the deep fryer, fry the potatoes, just Ooh. salt, just salt the crud out of them. Wow, that's my style. Yes. I like that. And we would just eat French fries. <laughs> that sounds yummy though. Nothing else. I love mashed potatoes like love mashed potatoes i do but to you me know, they, they take extra potatoes? no it's okay. really good okay just the best mashed potatoes to me have like garlic and i can't handle too Ooh, much garlic that's true but what about like mashed potatoes with gravy very good yeah like kfc's Ooh, they're the, there's I, they have some of the best uh mashed potatoes without like garlic as opposed to like Cheesecake Factory, right? It's good, but I can only have so much. Because of all the garlic. Just because of the garlic and how it yeah. affects me. Mashed potatoes during the holidays or the bomb.com. Comment down below if you guys know of a restaurant that has just the absolute ama most amazing um, mashed, potatoes. mashed potatoes. Because I would love to try them out. Look at that, you guys. Boom. What would you guys pair up these scalloped um, potatoes with? You know what I was thinking would actually probably be pretty good in here? Huh is um, if you add some like hamburger meat to it. Okay. Just with like mix it all in together. Ooh. That could be really good. Kind of like a beef stroganoff kind of thing. Kind of, but like with potatoes. Wow. wow. Yeah, so I think that could be good. I don't know. I got some salad that we can pair it with and then obviously with potatoes you usually want some sort of meat to yeah. go with it. You guys, you got those all cut up. So now the next step is literally, so this has this um, inner bowl. bowl. So you wanna make sure the inner bowl is inside of there and then you are going to just plop all the potatoes in here. And then we are gonna add a cup and a half of water to this. And then you guys, literally we cook it on high pressure for like one minute. I'm like so interested to see. I wanna know, I wanna see how these potatoes turn out because I'm like, no way. Is that like, is that a thing? Wow, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take a bite of wash. <laughs> so, okay, cup and a half of water going in. Zooey mama. Boom. Then we're gonna put the lid on. Okay, good idea. We're gonna, <laughs> that's probably a good way to start. We're gonna just twist this on. It's an easy, ooh, it makes music, guys. <laughs> Wow. Awesome. Okay. So. And then you've got to put the uh, steamer on sealer. Yes. Or so seal. make sure this little steamer thing right here is on sealing. Not, Not sealing, sealing. But sealing. How do you say it? Sealing. Sealing? Yeah. It's sealing just spelled sealing. different. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. You guys know me and my words. Okay. So there's that. And then you're going to want to come here. So we're going to go ahead and get it into pressure cook mode. Boom. Boom. And we're going to go manual. And then it's either less, we're at more, less normal or more pressure. We gotta do it at one minute. So temperature time up to one minute. And then we'll go ahead and start. Let's see. Boom, and then when you see that sign right there, it's gonna beep, but that's preheating. 
and the preheating depends on how much food's in there, how much it weighs, and it could range anywhere from two minutes to 40 minutes, depending on what's in there. We're hoping it's not gonna be too, too long. Yeah, we'll let so. you guys know how long this one takes to preheat, just so if you do plan on making this in this uh, pressure cooker, you guys will have an idea of how long you need to wait. All right guys, so this took literally about maybe five minutes to preheat and it's already starting on the minute of um, cooking. So here we go, one more minute. We'll see how these puppies look. Boom, I let, <laughs> Woo! Wow, you guys let that steam out. You guys, I put it for an hour instead of a minute. I was and like, so... yeah, 59 seconds is a long 59 <laughs> yeah, seconds. Yeah, so. But we watched it, so it was a minute. So when you do it, make sure the one is right here. That's one minute. So <laughs> <laughs> let's see how these turn out. I'm curious. Wow. One minute seems like nothing. Um, it's only 60 seconds. I know. <laughs> also, comment down below and let us know as Tina's looking for the uh, what's it? The sprainer, the slotted spoon. Yeah, I can't find it. We call it a slotted spoon. It's a sprainer. Sprainer. So comment down below and let us know. If you guys would like to see some more pressure cooker meals, yeah, because awesome. this is pretty cool. Ready? Oh, I'm kind of scared. Why? To see what it looks like. Let's see. <gasps> Dang! Wow. That is freaking awesome. Oh, I don't know why we don't use the pressure cooker more know. often. I'm gonna be honest. It's kind of intimidating to me. Really? At, at first. But then like when you pull it out and start doing it, I'm like, this is so easy. Why did I never, why don't I ever pull it out? But you know what? This may sound strange, but I don't think it is. It does. But Tina is the best at following like directions and doing things. <laughs> and so that's why I feel like with the recipe in front of her, there's nothing that she can't make. That's true. So <laughs> I, that's what I'm saying. I, Cause some people can follow directions oh. and still like screw things up. Look at this though, you wow, guys. Wow, they're like totally like tender. Look at that. Or whatever you want to call it. Literally one minute. Are you that freaking kidding me? That is insane, time saver. Wow. Okay, so if you cook those on your own, like without the pressure cooker, yes. how long would it take? Well, it takes forever to boil um, potatoes. Oh. That's like the biggest part. So I would say, I don't know, at least 20 minutes to boil, to get them soft. What? Yeah, so that's insane. I'm doing this for mashed potatoes too. No joke. Wow. You just pull these out and just start smashing them. Serious. Dang. Okay, so now you guys, we took out all the potatoes, put them in a separate little thing. We set the pressure cooker to saute. You're gonna leave all the extra liquid that's in there. So there's all this liquid. And then to this, we are gonna add like the cheese sauce mixture. So we're starting with the heavy cream. So we're gonna do four and a half tablespoons of heavy cream and we're gonna just Two. Pour it in here. Three, whoops, four and a half. Okay, and then you're gonna add a three fourths teaspoon of the garlic powder. And this is a one fourth thing, so I gotta do three of these. Okay, and then you're gonna just kinda do salt and pepper. It says kinda to, just to taste. So you guys, we're just gonna kinda go for it. And then put some salt in there. And then we are gonna add the sharp, white sharp cheddar cheese into ooh. here. So, ooh, is right. Wow, that's gonna, oh, that's gonna be good. Then you're gonna add this. so good. Oh, it smells good right now. I know, it smells so good Wow, already. it's almost like a garlic, a garlic cheese sauce. A garlic powder cheese sauce? Wow. I don't know why it would smell like that. <laughs> I don't know, I have no idea. Okay, so then you're gonna kinda just stir it around, ooh. My mouth is like watering. And let it saute, it says about three to four minutes, but um, it could be sooner. It's just basically until the cheese sauce is like smooth and uh, creamy, so. Woo! Wow, look at that cream sauce. That's literally, like I can only imagine it, how, if you could make like an Alfredo sauce in here. Oh, that's what it smells like oh, actually. So good. Mm, yummo. Oh bo -bo -bo. my gosh, it does. I want Olive Garden breadsticks it's right now. It's literally what it smells like, huh? <laughs> Oh, oh bomb. Okay, so that, what if this is like the secret sauce for Olive Garden Alfredo? I don't that know. could be. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Let's open our oh. restaurant. Okay, oh. <laughs> guys, so the, the cheese sauce is totally smooth and ready. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the potatoes back in. Ooh, and we turned everything off, unplugged it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my mamacita, tortatina, cuckoo maca. What? I don't know. <laughs> cuckoo maca? Cuckoo maca. Don't ask questions, just, just film. <laughs> Doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> wow, so she found the sprainer, you guys. Found the sprainer. Comment down below if you are an original fan bammer. Back in the old cook with me days when we came up with all of the names for our utensils and we came up with the sprainer. The sprainer. AKA the slotted spoon. Look how good this looks, no joke. Wow. Look at that. You guys, that is so amazing. So good. Okay, so we got the potatoes in there. And then do we just let it sit for a little bit? No, so now this is where the air fryer lid is gonna come in oh. handy. So, I'll show you. Oh. This is kind of exciting. It's like playing with a new toy. It is kind of, it's awesome. So, you got your cheddar cheese. You're gonna put that here, just like sprinkle it on top of these because you guys know you can never have too much cheese. So we got our cheddar cheese here. And then, you guys, we are gonna put the air fryer lid on top and it is going to brown these and make them like crispy a little bit crispy i get we'll see how it turns out and then the cheese sauce gets a little bubbly yeah it gets a little bubbly it browns it a little bit and then it boom bam done it's ready to go and we're gonna set it at 420. 420 and yes. the cool thing here is you have it plugged in for the pressure cooker but then you just take it right up here and plug, plug it, it in. in oh and i can help you with that babe plug it in and then boom, boom you've got an air fryer. How awesome is that? There it goes. Can I just say the sound? Listen to the sound. That's so calming. Say? It just makes me want to sleep. Good night, night. <laughs> Go Mimi's. <laughs> After I'm in food coma, I will. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're gonna open this up in a little bit and hopefully we'll see some browned, bubbly cheese, potatoes. scalloped potatoes. Oh, 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 so good. Dunzo. You guys ready for this? She's already taking a little peek. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, come on. Wow, and it's bubbling like it said. Oh, and it smells amazing. Wow. I'm so excited to try this. It says to let it cool for five minutes, so we'll wait five minutes, and then we're gonna try it out. All right, you guys, here we go. I'm dipping in here. Get a shot of this, babe. Oh. Are you freaking joking? Is this a joke? Am I being pranked right now? <laughs> Did you just prank yourself? Did I just prank myself? Wow. What the heck? Come Her on. mouth is watering. Look. Oh, this looks amazing. No joke. Look at that. Oh, it might be too hot. You think it'll be okay? I don't know. Blow on it. Let's see. Oh my. Are you kidding right now? You guys, I'm excited. I highly recommend. You guys, we have all the information for this pressure cooker air fryer combo in the description box yes. below. We are going to be doing these regularly because look how amazing it turned out, how easy it was. And it's a one pot stock. Serious. Guys. Like literally, I didn't have to use any other pots, pans, or anything at all. I could do it all in here, which was awesome. Wow. Wow. No, I'm serious. I'm gonna pick the next one. The next recipe. The next recipe, yeah. Do it, boy. Do it. You better eat that before it drops in your hand. I know. Did I already? Oh, it's hot. That is so good. Really? You're making me laugh. Why? I just, cause you're just Oh like, my gosh, <laughs> babe, you're gonna die. No, okay, I don't want it then. You are gonna, okay, I'll eat it. <laughs> this is so good. Like, so good. Mm. All right, right Danny's guys. got his bite. Here we go. It's still gonna be hot because it's a potato. Always hot on the inside. Wow. Right? Mm -hmm. I especially like. The crisp on the top. Oh, it's so the best good. part, I'm yeah. gonna say. It's so delicious. Mm. You have to have that crispy cheese on the top. Two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Good, Gucci mm -hmm. gang. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10, mm -hmm. three out of three. Mm -hmm. Five out of five? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Okay, you guys, so there you go. Pressure cooker scalloped potatoes. Success. Wow. Huge success. So delicious. 
I'm honestly, I'm really excited to use this more and more and more. So let us know if there's anything you guys want to see us make in this because we're definitely going to be using it more. We'll leave all the information for this down in the description box down below. And that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and don't forget, choose your day.